Hey, movie fans. Hey, fight fans. The Unknown Critic here. Today, we're going to do the official movie trailer review for Creed 3. That's right, Creed 3. I've been waiting for this one. This is the first in the series of the Rocky Creed movies that will not feature Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa. Hey, yo, Mick. I'm not in this movie. Why is that? Because you're a bum. Hey, yo, Mick. What's your problem? All right, enough of those two. Actually, Sylvester Stallone said that this movie was just too dark for him and there's too much darkness in the world. With that, let's watch this trailer and we'll discuss it afterwards. Here we go. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Bianca, Rocky, my dad. This is built on their shoulders. Hey, my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. No, nah, I ain't signing an autograph, but you get off my car. You don't remember me, huh? Damien. How long were you locked up? 18 years, bro. Just got out last week. Glad to have you back out, huh? I know I've been away a long time, but I kept myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Thank you. Curious what happened with you two? I didn't tell you. We was like brothers. I was the best, though. Man, I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this to nothing. Damien's fighting the world, and he's trying to hurt people. I vouch for you. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Why does somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going on with you. Damien was like family. Now we pass talking. Then maybe you just have to find out. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods, you might disagree with me. These are family ties. I recognize mine. I know that they needed me. Traumatic stress, watch it manifest. Got my only fear. I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath? I need you to let go of your fear. Let go of the guilt. Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. I fear those chains are breaking, yeah. I fear God, I don't fear death. I see those strengths and take a step. Wow. This movie does look deep. It does look dark. And by that trailer, this movie looks great. Now, the first thing I can tell you is, after seeing that trailer... I really don't think there was any room for Rocky Balboa in this movie. I know he had to be in the last one because, obviously, Ivan Drago. But not in this one. It just doesn't seem like he would fit in. This is now Adonis Creed all grown up. Seven years a champion, wife, beautiful daughter. And he's got to find and fight his inner demons and find his strength himself. Uh, this movie kind of reminds me of when Rocky Balboa fought Clubber Lang, played by Mr. T, someone who was stronger than him, full of hate, and wanted to take it out in that ring. And that's what Adonis Creed's opponent looks like to me in this movie. I can't wait to see it on March 3rd. But please, tell me your thoughts. Leave, it, leave them in the comments below. Now, if you like this trailer review, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And... In your comment, please put your city, state, and country from what you're watching this video from. And after I make a few videos, I'm going to take them all and pin it and see if we can just pin this whole globe around the world. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, here's the showbiz, the unknown critic signing off. And uh, this is going to be followed by a message, a very serious message from the unknown critic about VPNs, why you need one, and why pure VPN is the best. Until next time, bye-bye. You need to be anonymous on your phone, on your television, and on your computer. Are you using a jailbroken Amazon stick? 
you need to be anonymous. You want your financial transactions to be protected. You want to be able to access servers all around the world and watch local sports and TV shows. In order to do that, you need a VPN. And I'm here to tell you the best VPN, in my opinion, is Pure VPN. That's what I use, and I love it. Just to give you an example, you've heard of Nord, of course. Nord has 5,400 servers all around the world. Pretty good. Pure has 6,500. Over 1,100 more servers than Nord. ExpressVPN, you're using that? They have only 3,000. Private VPN has 200. Proton has 1,700. Pure has the most. 6,500 servers around the world. Now, what about the cost? One of the reasons that I picked Pure VPN is because of the cost. Right now, Nord is having a sale. Let's see, it's $5.99 a month for 24 months equals $143.76 for two years, 24 months. Pure has a sale for $2.08 a month for 27 months. That's 24 months plus three free. So you get 24 months plus three free for 27 months. $49.95. That's almost a third of Nord. Does everything Nord does, except it has 1,100 more servers. Are you kidding me? Pure VPN, folks. See the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. You need to be anonymous. This is serious. You need to protect your financial transactions. You need to be anonymous in all those places you're going, on your phone, TV, and on your computer. And you want to be able to go to servers all around the world and watch their local sports. A little bit of soccer over in Germany, England, etc., so again, unknown critic here, getting serious, and serious is a VPN, and the very best is pure VPN. Until next time, here's the showbiz. Hit the link for pure. I highly recommend it down in the pinned messages or the description. Protect yourself today. If you already have a VPN, get yourself a better price, and that's pure. Bye-bye.